is everyone doing today? It is Veterans Day today. So before I start this vlog, I'd like to first thank everybody who has served in our nation's military past and, uh, past and present. So I'd just like to thank you guys for your service. In this vlog, uh, I got a couple of quick things to kind of, I guess, update you guys on. This video will be about the gear that I have. And when I go over the gear that I have, I'll make sure to throw up pictures. Like go on Google or something and find pictures. But I'll throw up pictures of the gear I have. Yeah! Yeah! So, uh, 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 all right, update numero uno, the Prescott 2.0 ride. Um, I released a trailer for it uh, like three days ago. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention is I've been having some computer problems. Um, sometimes I lose files. It's really weird, like I'll plug in my GoPro into my computer and you know I'll start importing. And then sometimes if it sits there too long, like, it'll, like, turn itself off and go, like, beep, beep, beep. And then everything will just, it'll be gone. And, like, I never had a problem with that before. So with the Prescott ride, I got footage when I got pulled over and I got a ticket. I got that. And I maybe got about 15, 20 minutes of footage after that of some, some twisties. But I didn't take them too fast because we didn't know if there was going to be more cops sitting up there. So I got about... I got that. So if you guys want to see footage of like um, going a ride through downtown, um, I'll probably recommend you over to some other channels like Omega 47. They'll probably have all that and all the other people I rode with. I'll just throw their links, their channel links in the description when I upload the Prescott ride. I might have to cut right up to the front there. All right, update number two. Um, I think I mentioned this a while back, like when I first moved here. Um, I thought about going home back to Minnesota um, for a couple months in the summertime, but because I know a few people, some newer viewers, I guess, have asked me, "Hey, are you coming back? Or are you, you know, are you planning on you know coming back for a little bit?" And the answer is no. Uh, I am. I'm going to be here permanently. I am not going back to Minnesota. I thought I was for a little bit when I first came down here, but I don't know. It's just, this kind of feels like home to me now. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm here permanently now, so I'm not going back. So like I said before, I will throw up pictures of the gear that I have. I just decided not to like lay out all my gear that I have, you know, on the floor and be like, well, I have this and then I have that, but I have this glove and then I have this helmet. So I just thought I would do a little motor vlog and talk about it and throw up pictures. I thought that would be a, a little bit more exciting. <laughs> Oh my, I guess I still be out red. So the first thing I bought was, I bought gloves. I bought the Icon, I think they're called 29er gloves, and I'll throw up a picture up on the screen here what they look like, and they're pretty cheap, they're about 45 bucks on Amazon, I pretty much buy everything on Amazon, and they're great for the summertime, you know, because it's hot outside, and they're kind of like a, uh, I think they're kind of like, kind of more of a mesh kind of fabric, um, Protection wise, I think they got kind of a leather thing on where your hand is. Otherwise, they just have like a little soft, kind of squishy padding over the knucks. The knucks! Over the knuckles. But, I mean, it's better than nothing. So you kind of get what you pay for. It's cheap, it doesn't have a ton of protection, but I mean, it's good for when it's really hot outside and you just, you know, you want some kind of protection on your hands. Yeah! I like to look at myself. Well, I read Self Magazine and hear what myself has to say about myself. And decide that the go is going quite slower. Oh, sorry. I kind of cut you off there, buddy. Whoops, a daisy. All right, so... The next pair of gloves I bought was after I got my... Whoa, what on there is a little weird there. So, the next pair of gloves I bought after I started riding was these gloves I'm wearing now. They're the... Alpine Star Atlas gloves, and I really, really like them a lot. I wear them about, I wear them 99% of the time. 
they're about, they're a little bit more pricey. I think they're about 80 some or maybe 90 bucks. 80 or 90 bucks, somewhere in that range. Uh, but they got knuckle protection, as you can kind of see. Um, they're summer gloves, so they're not so like thick and heavy. So they kind of got that material, whatever you call, whatever this material is. Um, and then they got kind of ventilation in there in the fingers. And so I really like them a lot. I really like to wear these gloves. I wear them 99% of the time. You can probably notice in my videos. They kind of suck for when it's a little bit colder outside because my hands freeze. But I'm in Arizona, so who really needs winter gear? They're great gloves. I like Alpine Stars. I don't, I don't know if I have a favorite, you know, brand I stick with. I mean, I like Alpine Stars and I like Icon. They make some great stuff. But they also have some more, they got some pricey stuff, but they make great stuff. These gloves are a little bit big. So the one thing I would do if you're buying motorcycle gear, get a glove that's kind of snug because you know, you're, you're gonna be doing a lot of this, you know, and you're gonna stretch it out over time. So these are kind of big. So get a glove that's a little bit snug because it'll stretch out over time. Pop, 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 pop to the top. So the next pair of gloves I will go over is, I actually, I never bought them. I got them, I actually, I got them from a friend. Yeah, America. I don't remember the brand of these. It's like some rocket. They're like a, they're a cheap, you know, pair of motorcycle gloves you can buy. Um, but my friend actually bought them. And then somehow, like when he bought them, they threw in another, an extra pair for like for free. It was like really weird. Like I think the gloves are maybe about 30 bucks on Amazon and he paid for one pair of gloves and he got another one free. I mean, there was, there was no kind of special limited time offer or anything. It was just like, you know, here's the gloves, 30 bucks, bang. And then he got a free pair and he just gave them to me. These are also summer gloves. They're pretty lightweight. They also have no knuckle protection like this. They're, it's just kind of like that squishy, ooh, squishy uh, padding that you get in those cheaper gloves. But they're pretty good. They got, they have the, um, they have the clothy material on the bottom like this one. So the jacket I have is an Icon Overlord jacket. And when you kind of, you know, it has no uh, it, I think, like, I bought it from a friend, um, and I don't think, I, I never got, like, a, a liner for it, like, 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 you know, when it's colder, you put in, like, a little liner or something, but I have no liner in this, and when you kind of hold it and pick it up, it feels kind of thick, you know, it's kind of like, oh, this might be kind of hot in the summertime, but it actually, it, it breathes really well, you stay cool, as long as you're moving, you're, you're, you know, you get air through it, it vent, vents pretty good. Um, the only thing though, being that I live in Arizona, is it gets extremely hot here in the summertime. And I usually, I don't wear this thing when it's hotter than like 90 degrees, because then it just becomes too uncomfortable. I like it, I recommend it, and it's also good for when it's a little bit colder outside. You know, since I don't have a leather jacket or anything, like I don't, I don't really feel like spending the money on a leather jacket right now. Leather jackets are expensive as shit. Last night, I went out for a ride. I think it was like 63, 4, 5, somewhere around there. A little chilly. Um, and this kept me relatively not cold, so. A little two for one there. And then, of course, the helmet. I have the Speed and Strength SS700 helmet. I bought it off of Amazon for like 85, 90 bucks. So relatively cheap. Protects the old noodle. 90 bucks is a great helmet to keep your no noggin, your noodle, and the accessories I have in my helmet, I guess you could say. The only really thing I have is a Warhawk. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably know what my helmet looks like. But, and that's another thing, follow me on Instagram. It's it's on like the beginning of all my videos. So yeah, that's, that's all the gear I have. You know, I'm not super into, I'm not the person who buys gear all the time. Like there's some people out there that will buy like Icon's new helmet or jacket as soon as they come out. I think your truck's a little too big for you, bud. You're crossing the line. So I will talk to you guys, even though I don't really necessarily talk to you guys, or see you, but you see me. Maybe I should say, maybe you guys, you guys will see me in the next video. 
So take it easy, everyone. Thanksgiving's coming up. Eat lots of food, watch football, and enjoy yourself. Life is great. So, yeah.